Another concept that we really want to understand is how to turn decimals into fractions. And that's why it's important to learn how to name decimals, learn their place values, and to use those names um, instead of just saying 2.008. We, we could say 2 and 8 thousandths. Because when you say it like that, you're saying it as the fraction format. So 8 thousandths. 8 would be your top number. 1,000 would be your bottom number. So we're going to go through each of these numbers and convert them into fractions. And again, make sure that we're always putting them in lowest terms. We're reducing our answer. Um, and one thing that we want to keep in mind when we're doing this is that the fraction is only going to be with your decimal places. Any number that's to the left of your decimal, that's your whole number. So when you convert this into a fraction, each of the numbers that's on the left of the decimal is going to be the whole number, like in a mixed number. So each of these, because we do have um, whole numbers here, we're going to write them as a mixed number just for this, um, for the purposes of this video here. So when I look at 5.83 or 5 and 83 hundredths, so 5 is going to be our whole number or a mixed number. And then 83 hundredths. So learning how to say these using their decimal place values is going to really help you convert these decimals into fractions, which is a really important concept. We want to look at this 83 over 100 and see, can we reduce it? In this case, we can't, but in the other ones, we will. So in this case, we're fine. We can just leave it as 5 and 83 over 100. So let's look at our next one below. We have 12.75 or 12 and 75 hundredths. So 12 and 75 hundredths. So 12, that's the number that's to the left. So that's our whole number. This becomes our numerator, the 75. And the decimal place that we go to, the last decimal place that we use, is the place value that we're going to put on the bottom. So tenths, hundredths. So we're going to go ahead and put 75 hundredths, or 75 over 100. Can we reduce this? Yes, we can. We know that we can divide 75 and 100 by 25. So if we divide both of those by 25, our new answer will be 12 and 3 fourths or 3 quarters. So again, when we're converting to fractions, anytime you're dealing with fractions, your answer should always be in lowest terms. So always remember to reduce your answer. Our next one is 2.008 or 2 and 8 thousandths, okay? So 2 is our whole number, and 8 is going to be our numerator. And what's the place value that we go over to? Tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So that means 1,000 is going to be on the bottom. So can we reduce 8 over 1,000? We can. And we can divide both of these by 8. And if we do that, our new answer is going to be 2 and 1 over 125. So this would be the answer we would want to put for our homework or quizzes or exams or whatever. Always make sure that you reduce. Our last one is 5.2. And when we have something simple like that, it's really easy to just say 5.2. But again, use our place values because this is going to help us convert it into a fraction. So instead of 5.2, say 5 and 2 tenths. So there's a 2 in the tenths place. So 5 is our whole number. 2 is our numerator. And the place value that we go to is 10. And can we reduce that? Yes, we can. We can divide both of these by 2, and that will give us 5 and 1 fifth. So again, we want to get used to converting decimals to fractions. 
And we're going to learn how to go backwards uh, later on in this chapter. But for now, using that nomenclature, using the place values of the decimals can really help us visualize what that fraction is going to be. So just to recap, we want to look at how many decimal places we're using, and that will be our denominator or the number on the bottom, and the actual value that's in the place value is what will be the numerator or the number on the top. 